It can be such a challenge to get your hair looking good if you've got fine or thinning hair. In order to help you find something that works for you, I'm going over my five best hairstyling products for guys who've got either fine hair or thinning hair. I see so many guys confused about how to tackle their hair because they've seen these massive hairstyles all over different social medias, even here on YouTube, and they've tried to apply the techniques recommended there and they're just not working. Some products are suited to this amazing naturally thick hair, but there are other products that you can achieve similar results with if you've got fine or thinning hair. As well as making general recommendations on the types of products that you should be using, I'm also going to leave specific examples in this video and also in the description box below so you can check them out for yourself. The first thing on this list really is you've got to have the correct tools. Now if you're a guy who's got fine or thinning hair, it'll probably be laying flat and straight down on your forehead. And before I use any of the products in this video, this is exactly what my hair looks like. It looks limp, lifeless, dead. There are two real tools that I'd recommend here. The first one being one that I've recommended in videos before if you've seen them, and that is a multi-speed, multi-temperature hairdryer. If you're a guy with fine or thin hair and you're not using one of these, then your hair's gonna be limp and lifeless forever. The reason I like to choose the ones with the multiple controls on is so that you can get a really high speed but only a medium temperature so it doesn't damage the hair follicles. We've still got a temperature in there to activate the products that I'm gonna be talking about in a moment. And also, you've got the speed. I mean, this stuff isn't gonna blow your hair out of the roots what it will do is blow as much air as possible between the hair follicles, causing them to stand on end. And if you're a guy with limp and lifeless hair, that's exactly what you should be looking for. And as part of number one on this list, the other tool that I'd recommend is one of these round brushes. Now, there are seemingly thousands of different brushes out there that you can use for your hair. And why would I recommend this over a traditional comb? Well, you've got more power to manipulate your hair. With a comb, all you can really do is just push your hair backwards or to one of the sides. There's no way of grabbing the hair. Whereas with a round brush, just like this one from Uppercut Deluxe, especially the ones with the little red ball things on the end, you can easily twist and grab sections of the hair. And in conjunction with the hair dryer, this is gonna allow you to take sections of the hair, rotate them, and then pull them upwards. This can give you lots of lift and volume in your hair really easily. And why do I recommend this specific one from Uppercut? Well, it's because it's one of the only ones I've ever found that doesn't rip the hairs out at the root. With other brushes, this technique is just gonna leave you with tons and tons of hair left on the brush that you've ripped out. This one seems to have some sort of metal mechanism inside. I don't know whether that affects it, but it certainly performs the best out of any of the brushes that I've tried. Okay then, number two on this list, let's get onto some stuff that you can actually put in your hair. If you want your hair dryer to perform at its maximum, you're gonna need to use a pre-styler with it. This is a product that you put into your wet hair before using a hair dryer, and then in conjunction with it, you can create much more volume than without. And also many of these products act to protect your hair from any of the heat coming from these. There are loads of different types of pre-stylers around now, but there are two specific types that I would recommend, and that is volume mousse and thickening tonic. The volume mousse is great for hairstyles where you want a lot of height and volume. Because these products are so light, they're excellent at doing this. But if you want your hair to sort of feel as thick as possible, then you can also go for thickening tonics. These two are two of my personal favorites that I use all the time. I've been really surprised by this Weller Shockwaves mousse, which performs exceptionally well in terms of volume, doesn't leave your hair feeling crispy, and also it comes with built-in heat protection as well. And of course, it's extremely affordable. And the Label M Thickening Tonic smells great, performs really well, still gives you a bit of volume as well as the thickening effect. I would highly recommend both of these specific ones. But whichever one of these you use, apply it to your wet hair, then use the hair dryer and the brush in combination, and you're gonna be left with an amazing, voluminous hairstyle. But this isn't gonna be a hairstyle that's gonna stay in place for very long if you're not careful. You're gonna need some sort of styling product in order to help you get the shape that you want in your hair. Now, number three on this list is definitely an optional one. This is for those of you who are struggling to manipulate your hair, or you've got particularly thin or fine hair and are struggling to find any density in there. And that is a powder styler, just like this one from Fudge. This is really the ultimate way of getting your hair to feel as thick as possible. You'll only need a tiny amount of this stuff. If you use too much, 
Your hair is going to feel all clumpy, but it can make a big difference in making your hair easier to manipulate and control. The fourth hair styling product that you're going to want to look for if you've got fine or thin hair is a matte finish lightweight hair product. This is really going to be your main styler, so whether you've used the powder or not, you're going to want to use one of these. If you're someone who's got fine or thinning hair, then a matte finish is almost essential. I've used many high shine products before on my hair, even a few times on this channel. And it looks terrible in my hair because it makes my hair look even thinner and finer than it already is. You can see right down to the roots, you can see through to the scalp, it's a nightmare. High shine products can look great if you're a guy who's got incredibly thick and coarse hair, but if you're not, then you'll want to stick to something that's matte finish. Using a product with as low a shine as possible is gonna make your hair look as thick as possible. You want as likely to see straight through to the scalp, and I think it just looks more natural. It looks like you're putting in less of an effort, you're not coating your hair with product. And also, you'll want a product that is lightweight. This is going to allow you to build as much volume in your hair as possible and to keep it there. If you're using a heavy hold product, it's really going to make your hair look thin, you're not going to be able to build much volume. As a result of this, I generally avoid products like clays. Even though they are probably the most popular type of men's hair product, they do tend to weigh the hair down. Something lighter and a bit more creamy, like a putty or a paste, is usually going to do a better job. Now, I've got some awesome suggestions here for a range of budgets. If you're after a putty, then I'd probably go for one of these two. Now, the Fish Hardcore Hold Putty is one of the best ones that you'll find on the high street for a really low price. If you use this properly, this is going to give you the best hold and best finish for the price point. And also my current go-to product, the Dow Wax, I would still probably classify as a putty. Similar to the Fish Soho product, it is quite sticky, but that allows you to get lots of grip in your hair to keep it in position. This one is more expensive, but you get loads and loads of products for the money and you barely have to use any at a time. If you want to see my full video review on this product, then you can see it in the card above at the moment. I'll also try and leave it on the end screen as well. Probably the best product that I've ever used for my hair. And that's what I'm using right now, actually. In terms of pastes, I've got another two favorites here too. In terms of high street products, the VO5 matte paste that comes in the toothpaste-like tube is one of the best ones to go for. Good hold, matte finish, adds a bit of texture to the hair, looks great. But another alternative that I haven't really mentioned much on the channel before is the Osmo Fiber Sculpt. This is one that you can get incredibly easily online, or at least you can here in the UK anyway, and it performs very, very well. This is probably one of my top five favorite products alongside the Dawax. It's very affordable, very lightweight, smells amazing as well. It just does what it says on the tub and it works. The only type of clay that I would really recommend if you've got this sort of hair type is the Blue Man Hybrid Cream Clay, which performs very similarly to a paste. And coming in on number five on this list for the best hair products for guys with fine or thinning hair is gonna be an absolutely solid hairspray. Even though some of these products have got beastly hold, often if you've got this hair type, it's still not enough. Your hair may potentially be drooping at lunchtime. It's just a hassle that you shouldn't have to deal with. And as a result, again, I'd recommend trying some hairsprays out. My personal favorite still at the moment, and the one that I think is the best for men, is the Johnny's Chop Shop Fix Hairspray. Apply a light coating of this at the start of the day, and you'll be sorted until you come home. And unlike some of the other hair products, it's not gonna give your hair loads of shine. It won't make your hair look greasy, but it still performs fantastically well. It's also, for a salon quality product, not expensive at all. So I will leave a link to this, as well as all the products I've mentioned, or alternatives if you're from abroad, in the description below. I really hope that you found this video both enjoyable and useful. I have tried literally hundreds and hundreds of different products in the quest to find something that actually works with fine and thinning hair, and these are the best ones. These are the ones that I definitely recommend to you. My question to you is, what hairstyling products are you currently using? Let me know in the comments section down below. And I would really appreciate it if you help to support the channel. Make sure you press the like button. And if you want to see similar tips just like this on how to style your hair and what to wear, make sure you press the subscribe button and then press the bell icon next to it as well so that YouTube actually tells you when I upload a new video. And I will see you on the next one.